Those the right ones? This was really an attempt to show that these guys are good guys who are misguided um, and show that uh, uh, he's a bit of a ladies' man. Also to establish these people, um, all of whom we would see again, um, to make Sokovia known to us as a space because the first movie ended in New York in Manhattan, which even if you've never been there, you know, because it's been in movies. And uh, to give Sokovia some kind of meaning and weight, it seemed necessary to give the people there some life. But uh, um, in the efficiency of the storytelling, of, and again, keeping the mystery of who these people are until they tell their story, ultimately trumped all of that. The man says me to come to the church. What man? Iron Man. No, not yet. Not this. So, this whole sequence um, is a longer version of them finding Clow. This was a reshoot that I insisted upon. I felt the banner had fallen out of the scientific aspect of the story, the Ultron of it, just sort of been sidebarred. And I also felt that every question about Ultron needed to be answered with one answer which was maybe he's not insane. So that was something I was sorry to lose. I think it ultimately uh, fell out partially because of Mark's not ideal uh, reshoot wig um, since he was filming, um, I think now you see me again. Um, and uh, for me, it, uh, it would have stopped a lot of questions from being asked. Ultimately, I don't know if those questions were asked, I thought. We were fairly clear, but I That's kind of a mixed message. did like positing the idea that, um, this was my you know, the world had uh, made him nuts, had not, not a glitch. System, he could be pulling planes down from the sky. What if he's just doing what he's supposed to? If I thought Ultron were bringing peace... This was, um, you know, again, hitting the theme of uh, Red Cap has no place if he's not fighting. Don't worry about the wolf. Leave the nightlight off. It's a negative. I answer to you. Yes, ma'am. This, as I had mentioned, is, is when we were leaning more heavily into the mystery of what's up with Barton. Um, the people were starting to notice it. Ooh, noticey. We're getting access tonight on all basic This is another thing I was sorry to lose, mostly because that woman behind Rhodey is Paula, the script supervisor. Um, and I felt she deserved her big starring moment. No, mostly because, again, I wanted to say, why isn't War Machine helping them right now to show, you know, that he's military and that he's... and to say that nuclear codes are, are actually being attacked. Um, and uh, I thought all of that information was useful uh, and fairly painless to get at. Um, it's not an explosive uh, bit, and then... but it uh, seemed... Uh, to do more good than harm. The message. Ultron killed Strucker. And he did a Banksy at the crime scene. Banksy is, uh, that was one of Robert's uh, throughout on the day. He's showing us his hand. This isn't his pattern. Why send a message when you've just given a speech? Strucker knew something that Ultron wanted us to make. basic idea was that everybody's doing something. Yeah. And uh, we see what it is. And that's good? So, part of me doesn't want to say anything, um, just because I like watching these guys at work. And part of it's been said in, in the commentary. The scene is ultimately very different, despite being the exact same scene. There's few changes from these are all early cuts. The difference really is in... in how it resolves and what that means to them as characters and and as you'll see when when uh, um, it gets to the part that doesn't exist anymore they both make decisions in the moment that are uh, are you assuming that I have to stay that are very hard for them they this is part of the idea that the dreams were there to tear them apart to turn him into his worst idea of a hulk so that he'd 
want to turn tail and run mm. and to make her realize, realize that she didn't want to be an Avenger anymore, partially because that would make it so much more interesting when she is literally the only one who stays with Cap, uh, the only one of the originals who stays on the team. It's your job. I'm running with it. With you. If running's a plan, as far as you want. I had in mind. I want you to understand that, um, what we're talking about. The objections that people have had to this pairing I've discussed, but I think um, part of the issue is is them not having seen this scene through. Um, and I like where that led us. I liked the fact that it was still open to question and that ultimately it's the Hulk who makes the final decision, that uh, Banner and the Hulk have resolved themselves enough that the Hulk makes what is a very cogent and uh, intelligent and in a way, heroic decision. And that she herself makes a decision, um, you know, when she pushes him down a well in order to bring the Hulk out of him, that she, you know, after, you know, wanting to be with someone, decides, no, I need to be a hero, so I'm going to do something sneaky the way Black Widow would, to do something heroic the way Black Widow would, and gives up, uh, you know, the dream of being a regular person. And all of that wouldn't have the same register if this scene had played through, but at the same time, from this moment, um, the stakes get a little higher, and morally, he basically tells her that she is a monster. He basically says, um, you are not in the same place as me, morally, and that's, it's never going to work because of that. Um, My circle of life is such a slap. And they're dead. They're dead. Not the man. The line she has at the bar earlier, never say never, um, is partially there because of this, the callback when he says never. And then, of course, I just love the end of this. Wow. Well, I guess I uh, better clean up then. Water's cold. No shit. 